Hi guys, it's Kayla here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting build for you. I'm going to be building a three bedroom home and we're also going to be going over some landscaping glitches and also some kitchen countertop glitches. So this video is a little bit long. It's about 12 to 13 minutes and that's because we do go over the glitches and I go over them slowly but it still kind of might be tough for you to understand how i describe them because i'm not the best at describing things but i do try my best so if you can't really understand them i will leave them the steps in the description box so make sure you check that description box out down below after the video so here we are just placing some floors down you guys know that i haven't really used the nautical floors in well, I've used the floors outside of videos, but I haven't really used them that many times. So, I just use the nautical floors here in the contemporary carpet. I really like to have carpet in my bedrooms, just because that's what I'm used to in real life. And I'm not sure, I just don't really like wood or hard floors in the bedroom. That's just my opinion. You guys might have that, it's totally fine, but that's just my opinion. So... For the restrooms, I use the new condo packs that we got. It just makes the restrooms look so, so nice and so, so contemporary and sleek. And I think it's really pretty. So now I'm noticing that I did forget to put walls into the garage. I just used the whiteboard. I think that's what it's called. But we got it with the condo, I think. I think we got that with the condo. And those are the the walls that I use. You guys will see them shortly. But I did forget to put them in this footage. But they are there. So no need to worry about that. So now we are just adding in some doors. And now we're going to be going into glitches. So I use the vineyard hedges. And what you want to do is take two of the vineyard hedges. Place them directly next to each other. And after you place them next to each other... Here are the steps. So take the one on the left, bring it to the right, put it back to the left, twist it, take it to the middle, push it down, and select with the green check. Next, you want to take the one at the bottom, bring it down, tap on the one at the top, and then tap a green arrow at the top of your game. So now you can just get rid of the, arrow, the hedge at the top and add another one. So, for the glitch that I did, it did take quite a bit of time. So, what you just want to do is move the, move the red hedge, move it down or to the left, whichever one, it doesn't matter. And then move the one that's not red to the left or down, it doesn't matter. And you want to keep doing that until you have your desired spot and shape of your glitched item. So, like I said, this did take me a while because I wanted to flip them and put them at the top and I didn't really know how to do that, so I had to come up with my own tricks. So, it, yeah, it took some time. But at the end, it was worth it because I think it's so pretty. And at the end, I did add the pink azalea flowers that we got with the farmhouse. So now, we have gotten the two hedges together. The next thing you want to do is take the hedge on the left, move it to the left, and then press on the other hedge and hit the green arrow at the top of your game. That way it can start blinking red and you can add anything into it. So I added the pink azaleas and we add the pink azaleas all the way across. So to glitch both of them, you want to move both hedges to the right or to the left, it doesn't matter and then press on something else and then hit that green arrow at the top and then they're both will turn red and you can add anything to it so now we're going to be starting a tree glitch and it's just the same thing as the start of the last glitch but here you want to add the tree in the red glitch hedge and then move it down press the green check select the tree move it up and then press on something else and hit the arrow at the top of your game that way it'll 
turn red and you can add another tree to make it look like it was grown close together and look more natural. So like I said guys, that is the glitches for the landscaping and I will be leaving those in the description box because I know my describing isn't the best, but I will be leaving that in the description box and yeah. So now we're just going to be decorating the ensuite for the master bedroom. This this master bedroom is for a single mom. She has two twin daughters. And I know, I think I did a, a house for another family with teen daughters, but that family had also a dad, but this lady, she doesn't have anyone. I'm not sure, like, what I want to say happened to her husband or why he's not in the family. So if you guys have any, any suggestions, leave those in the comments down below, and I will enjoy checking those out. So... Also, this rug that I placed in the master bedroom, I love it so much. It is so pretty. You guys heard me say that in the last video. If you guys haven't watched my last videos, be sure to go watch them. They are very entertaining and I love them. So that rug is just one of my favorite rugs and I'm so glad that we have it in the game because I think it is so pretty. So here I'm just decorating the first bedroom. This is the bedroom decorated in the farmhouse, um, the farmhouse furniture. And this bedroom is decorated in the urban blue and white furniture. So I added two wardrobes in this closet, but in the first closet, I only added a hanging rack. I'm not sure why I did that, because I could have added wardrobes in both of the bedrooms but I think I just wanted something a little bit different so now we're going to be going into the guest restroom and I decorated this restroom in black and rose gold but in the game it's called bronze I believe but it just looks more rose gold to me so here I did place the gold shower and also the gold toilet but that is not stay and we changed those for both black and bronze so now we're just going to be going over with the kitchen glitches and you want to start with the wine, the buffet wine chest. So I took six of these and you want to place one at the back and one at the front. So what you want to do is take the one at the front, put it to the back and then twist it, take it to the right and then bring it back to the left and select with the green check. It's just that simple and to turn it red, you want to take the one at the back move it over, press something else, and then hit the back button at the top of your game, just like we did earlier. So that's all it is to the kitchen glitches. It's really simple. And then once you have it flashing red, you can place any countertops you want. I went with the homestead countertops, just like Joy did, because I thought her kitchen was so pretty. And I also went with the um, chalet stove and placed the homestead hood over the stoves and also place the homestead island so we're just adding a refrigerator and then I delete the door that I had in the entrance so I can put a shorter door for I can put a TV so that the sims can watch TV and I also use those new blue chairs I place four but it ends up turning out to be three just because I didn't like the look of having four so we also have the dining room and I use the high the high table with the bar stools. I think that dining room looks so cute. And now we're just going to add some decor to the kitchen, dining and living room area. And we're going to be done with the with this area. So with that glitch, you can add anything onto the countertops because without the glitch, you couldn't add things to the countertop. So that is what the glitch is for. But now we're just adding some waistbands and we're going to go into the garage and add a wash and a dryer. And I also add a car because the car was so pretty and I think it's so cute. So I'm adding a homestead door off of the garage and now we're just adding some um, decorations. But now we're going to get off with the tour of the house. And so I'm going to have my sim Anna take you guys on the tour so this is the front entrance of the house i just placed the farmhouse plant there and also the hands system i use that as an alarm <clears throat> you 
and here is the living room dining room kitchen area it's so pretty and so bright and everything in this house is functional and you can use everything and you don't if you want to build this house and you post it on anything tag me in it so i can see what you guys have turned it out to look like because i'm so interested in what you guys are building and i think it's so cute whenever my followers send me things and say look at what i build i think it's so nice and yeah so i'm just having her test everything to make sure everything is working and it is so now we're going to go on the other side of the house and have a look at the bedrooms and restrooms closets and everything like that so we are coming up to the end of the video and we're going to be moving into screenshots shortly so i just want to thank you guys for watching my videos and sticking around with me and we have reached 630 views and guys i'm so excited for this so thank you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye everybody